what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ole Gunnar Stalin Brighton career mode and to, to start off today's episode we're going to just go into you know answer some messages so uh, McAllister's fine with being a left winger you'll do for me uh, Milton is doing well apparently yes gone up to 77 I would say he's rivaling Webster, but the problem is Webster's just on such good form. And I mean, I know Veltman's doing well as well. And Dunk. I mean, I don't know about Dunk, honestly, you know. <laughs> Dunk, not amazing at the moment. <coughs> Shane Duffy, very bad form. I'm sorry. But yeah, we've been doing that. And we've got the scout report for my favourite player of the year. Fake player. <laughs> I can't believe they just went out and called this guy fake player. I mean, I, we're not going to buy him, of course. But, I mean, it's just the idea, are they? You, the Almeria. They just got a player. He's on a seven months left contract. And literally is called fake player. So, I mean, yeah, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. I'm just call him fake player. Uh, so let's just have a look. Who do we have left on, you know, yeah. On not that long contract. I think this is. This is that one, isn't it? Is it we have all of these? Yeah, this here. Uh, okay, let's just have a look though. Who do we have? <sighs> We don't have anybody really. I mean, Steven Sesson Young. This guy looks like he would be quality, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Then Carius. <laughs> One of my favourite players, actually, Carius. I think he's really underrated. I mean, yes, he had his bad game, but I mean, he hasn't actually been given a chance, has he? So, yeah. John Joe Kenny. He should have been a shout for right back, to be honest. Okay. But I'll have a bigger look through in between episodes. I just thought I'd have, have a little scroll, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, Federico Chiesa, if we could get him, that'd be amazing. Santiago Munoz, don't know who that is. Martin Kelly. Okay, okay, that's all of them. But you might notice in this episode, I, we have changed my manager over time. Because remember, this used to be at the beginning of the save, you'll remember. This was his haircut. And it's now this, because it's like, I mean, managers do that a bit, don't they? I mean, it's not this, is it? It's that, then that. And I, I want to change it about, you know, three times a year or so, you know, halfway through the season around. I think we yeah, we, we could change it, okay? I think we're allowed. So, 7 million there. Let's just have a look at the objectives. Okay, this is not going very well. Club sales, just buy Ronaldo. <laughs> buy Ronaldo and everyone will buy. You know that. Uh, let's get a stick of five clean sheets this season. Uh, okay, finish mid table. We're eighth in the league. We're doing quite well. I think that's enough yakking. There's not enough yakking on from me. Um, let's just go to to Bournemouth. And now Trossard is better. He is not a you've earned a place in this team, honestly. Ooh, uh, ooh. Look at that. He can rejoin the first team, but does that mean he's got a little injury? Uh, a little injury. Does that literally mean I can just go like? Yes, Trussard's back. But remember, Van Cost is out again. My injury-prone, amazing striker is out. Now, let's just do this lineup though. So Sanchez in goal. Kukure has done amazingly this season. Sonny March has been okay, but we're playing Kukureya. You know, Webster and Webster and Veltman. Webster and Dunk is what I'm going to do. Uh, Tarek Lamptey, Femenia. I'm sorry, Femenia's just done so well. I just think he's he's our best. I mean, most of you would be saying, well, Meinstein, Veghorst is by far your best transfer. You know what? He's He's been very good. He's quite slow, but it's probably Femenia. I'm sorry, Femenia playing centre forward. He'll have bangles and... You know what I mean? He will be amazing. Uh, anyway, Basuma, I can't wait for Grub, Grub to come back because then I actually have choice. And he's nearly came back actually. And when he does, he will get game time. You know, he will get a lot of game time. 
He only went out in match day two of the season. I mean, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? I mean, poor guy. Literally played two games and bam, out he goes. That is our team. That's what we're going to be playing. And I think we're just going to, you know, literally sort my appearances. You see 21. Here's, yeah. <laughs> and then, look, if you go to, like, one, you see Ferguson, Caicedo. Where's Grob? Grob seven, you know, seven. One Carabao Cup, six Premier League. So that means he got injured in literally six games of the season. Because I, I would have played him in every game. So he got injured against Leicester. Okay. Leicester, Leicester. And that might have been one of the games you guys didn't see. I don't think I got two players injured. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, press conference. You know, we will do that. It's quite loud. But you know what? We will do that. Just before we do that, I wanted to do some of the other stuff like this just before. Um, yeah, no, we don't need to renew any contracts. Let's just do this. Thank you all for your patience. We're going to start taking questions now. It's only my second conference of the season. Oh, is this our rivals? I don't know they were our rivals. But didn't we play? We played them already. We played them already. We're in excellent shape. Got our homework. Confident. These games are never easy. I'm not disagreeing with what I said. Okay, guys, we're gonna end here. Thanks so much for coming. <laughs> I'm just telling her to shut up. Okay, but I mean, I thought a okay, quarter final, we could get through this. Okay, Spurs beat Leicester. Arsenal beat Man City. Okay, <laughs> quite realistic there. Uh, I mean, we've already played Bournemouth this season in a one-off draw. You know, ninth in the Premier League. Ooh. Okay, you know we're doing well. Bournemouth only won, only drawn four games. You know that's a bit disappointing for them. But we're about to like we have two more games basically. Like Brentford, Chelsea. We haven't played them. Then it's literally just replaying. Like we played Everton. We played Palace. We played Leicester. And you guys can see them then. Anyway, we're gonna play. You know what? It's Carabao Cup. I didn't realize that. So Mark, you're playing there. <laughs> I know I'm just changing it at the last minute, I'm sorry. Veltman, Gunk, Lamptey, Basuma, Modder, uh, Lalana, McAllister. Mm, I do kind of want to play Trossard. You know what I mean? I want to just get him back in, you know, just a little, little warm up game. And then Welbeck. You will be playing now. That's been six minutes of absolute bore. Now let's get into this game against the, our our pound rivals. Now come on, come on. We, we did not do well against them earlier in the season. First act ever game under under Ole Gunnar Stein, and it wasn't looking too good, really, was it? So yeah, let's see how this goes. Brighton versus Bournemouth. Just about a save. Okay, Brooks to swing this in. Good cross, but oh no, the head is not, the clearance not sufficient. <gasps> How do they not score? How do they not score that? Lol, on my counter attack, come on. Oh yes, McAllister. McAllister. Oh, oh, the counter attack works. You will have seen that post attempt maybe. But that's Alexi McAllister. Let's go, guys. I mean, you must have seen that counter-attack. Honestly, I was going to pass it then. Just I thought, you know what, McAllister? You've done a lot of work on this run. Shoot, you know, have a go. And in the end, I, I, that was nearly a Megs. So, I mean, come on. I honestly think we've, our team has transformed since the last time we played this team. We're, we're a bigger, better team now. Anyway, Brighton and Nerve Albion won. AFC Bournemouth, nil. Lalana. Not quite. Davies to Slender Slash. Oh, good at the second from Alana there. You know, I'm liking that. Half time, we're winning 1 0, but if you look at some of the more highlights, which I made sure at the end, you know, yeah, we did a lot better than them, to be honest. They've had two or three attacks, like that one at the end, but we've had about 10. You know what I mean? 
We did a lot better. Let's go to the second half. Brighton won. Bournemouth nil. Brooks will be taken here. Let's see how that goes. Into the middle. Lalana good. Oh no! Oh no! No! That's why I think sometimes when the Lalana guy gets the ball like that, sometimes it's a bad idea. Okay, you know why? Because you can see. If I just let. What's he called? Sanchez, you know, get his hands to it. You see, it wouldn't have rolled to him, would it? That's what I normally think. I mean, Sanchez could have probably saved that. Anyway, uh, Brighton won, Bournemouth won. Nope, nope, Mendy, nope. You cannot score. You cannot score, just block him off, Basuma. No, just stop him. The challenge is going for the big Yeetus. I think, is that Pens? Or does, do we have to do like a replay? Now just go to Pens. Yep, yeah, penalties. Look at this, guys. We've gone to penalties. Look, we have better takers than them by far. Like, look, they're, they're a forced taker of 59 penalties. Like, look, I mean, we have Malpay taking first. Because they have the same pens. I, I'm doing it on pens and finishing. For example, I mean, Lalana and Modo, I just feel like Lalana would, would take first realistically. And then. Veltman would take before Lamptey. Lamptey's a type of guy, I can imagine him, like, at FA Cup final messing it up. But I can imagine him being like, you know, what's he called? That Chelsea one. But you know what I mean? I can imagine him being like Kepa. <laughs> yeah, no, no offence, Lamptey, I'm sorry. Just, in the form you've done, in real life, I can imagine him being, you know, first on the list and banging in. But in this, I can imagine, you know, yeah, not going so well. And then Malpay... You've missed a couple this season. You're going to go there. Oh! -ho! Keep it the right way, but what a goal. What a goal. A goal from Stanislas. I have hurt my thumb. I didn't say so, but I've hurt my thumb. So it's a bit harder. Oh, in from McAllister, though. When it matters most, punts. Come on. Save, right? Yes! Save by Sanchez. Trust our chip. No, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Okay, save this. Yes, come on, let's go. Lalana, you will go top corner. Lalana, you be going top corner. Bang. No, missed. Lerma, we need to get back on a scoring streak. They're all going the same way. If if Mona can score this, one, I'll play him a lot more, and two, I think, yeah, he will you know, win it for us. I think it comes to me finals! Let's go, boys! Let's go! Not an amazing shootout. I'm happy. I'm as happy as those fans. I mean, just look at that though. We're going left. Keeper going completely the wrong way. And yeah, that one did. I mean, congratulations to Neil Malpe, to uh, the other one who scored, and definitely Modder. And I didn't think he. I thought Lalana would be scoring for the win then, honestly. I thought Lalana would be the winner. But we have knocked Bright Bournemouth. Out. So, I mean, that took a lot longer. That was about a 20 minute game. I know it doesn't look it to you guys, but that's what it was. And it 50 50. Like, so how come they are more? I think they missed a couple, you know. And we just had, you know, the chances, but not quite, you know. Okay, Liverpool win 4 1. Who will we be facing? Will it say here? Will it say? No. Oh, that was good on pens. Good, good on pens. It will either be Arsenal, Spurs, or Liverpool. I mean, we can only hope it is probably Arsenal. I think we lost up the Spurs. Let's hope it's Spurs. At least it's not Liverpool, you know. I hope it's not them because they'd batter us. Uh, yeah, that was actually definitely the right decision. I couldn't take any risks before today. We scheduled us versus Spurs. That's calm. That's calm. Let's just go to Bright Brentford, you know. Finland. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. <laughs> Uh, so the, no, the answer is no. 
Uh, what? Who could be having? Note rejected. Note rejected. Note rejected. Sign. Reject. Oh, definitely sign. He's going to be good. Sign, yeah. I will just have a quick look at the YouTube Academy. Well, I guess just, that, just have a little quick look. I'll just sim to the game. Yeah. Kukumea wants to play. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just because you didn't play in one game doesn't mean you ain't ever going to play again. Dear, oh dear, Kukumea. But, oh, I think we just brought in a guy called Collier. 50 overall. Yeah, he's good. He's going to be good. Let's just put them on development plans. So we brought this guy in. He's looking not bad. You know? Penetrator. Uh, this guy. I don't know. I mean, he has the potential. Just the overall pants. You know? If he can grow quickly, though, I think that'll kind of save him. Ugh. You see, I can't be putting up with this. Might just have to release him. Collier, he's looking good. I mean, 17, 58 overall, good potential, he's looking good. Let's put him on this plan, Shadow Striker. Uh, he's actually not looking bad, Clarkson. Sebastian Clarkson. Oh, no, I'm taking a bit longer getting into the games. I'm sorry, just I want to do this. And we kind of need, it is kind of an important thing when you think about it. Park in. 55, not bad. I mean, if he's 16 next year, how well will, will he be? If I can change him to a right winger, do you think because of his pace that'll be good? In okay, five weeks, yeah, let's do that. And finally, what? He's looking good. He's looking very, very good. You know, he's looking very good. I think one of those kids we bought, I think it was like, whatever he was, like Collier. He's 700k, that's how much he costs. But let's just have a look at the old Rater Rudies. You see, Albert Cox nearly ready to go up into the actual team. I think, yeah, he will nearly be ready. You know? Okay, now we have Bournemouth. Well, not Bournemouth. <laughs> we have Brentford. Uh, we're playing a better team, I'm sorry. Wait a second, actually. Actually, don't we have Chelsea after them? Yeah, literally Chelsea right after it's the B team. I'm sorry, Kukurea. You're, 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 you need, we need you for Chelsea, so, like, we're going to have to play silly March. It, it's going to be the B team, so it'll be Veltman and Duffy, you know, because Chelsea, they're going to be harder to get the points against. Either we just get maybe a three points goal difference against this team, or we just get a good result against either, you know, that would be quite good. Lanty, you're playing Basuma. Uh, you see, Mod is playing instead of you. <laughs> Just because of that little thing in the cup, Mod is playing. Wepu, you're, you're not playing. Baluta. Actually, if I. Yeah, that's that's not bad, yeah. Uh, you're not playing Trust Now. Don't you dare play. Samiento, definitely. Matter. Really, like, do we have like tons of young players ready to like pounce up? Yeah, we do. Kaiseido. No, Kaiseido, you're getting the prem game. You know what? Don't mind. Don't say I'm not. I don't want to play it. Can I don't want to play it. Yeah. Don't, no, don't, don't you dare do that on me, Kaiseido. I, I don't even think that's how you say his pot name, poor guy. <laughs> He's had one prem game before, and it was a six rating, you know. He's only 20, though, so that's fine. Brentford. Let's see how we do at the Amex this game. Come on, come on. I don't want cutscenes upon cutscenes. Okay, Brighton versus Brentford. Back for another attack. I mean, he nearly scored, I will say. This game is literally, people have got their money's worth. Mother, another goal. Oh, Mother gets it in. Oh, people are getting their money's worth. What a goal by Martin Mother, amazing form. Scores the winning penalty to send us to the semi-final of the Cabo Cup. And banging that, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard to score. 
That, that is hard, Loki. Because, I mean, he passes it back. That's good. I thought that was a deflection, but I don't think that was after all. I mean, like, have a look. lovely, cleanly striked. I thought it was deflected after my last defender. In the end, just a lovely goal by Jacob Mother. First ever Premier League goal. Brighton won, Benford nil. Oh my gosh, guys. That is good. That is very, very good. Approaching half time. And, but now we're one nil ahead. I mean, you guys m might have seen Ivan Tony's offside goal. I probably did show it to you guys, but yeah. If, if you didn't, he had a goal. It was offside. Literally, I think my guy was actually onside, but yeah. Uh, modder, 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 let's go, he's scoring, he's banging in, let's go guys, I mean, let's have a look as well, like, Leicester beating Man City, pause, I mean, like, I'm like oh my god, <sighs> Chelsea beating Villa, I'm only saying that, not because I'm a Villa fan, but yeah, you know, because, oh, oh my god, look, look, just look at this, I can get, well, back to do whatever he wants. Like, like he's pointing at them. Hey, Brighton won. Went for nil. Jensen could be in here. Oh, no. Yep, they are. I cursed it. Damn. Who scored? Uh, oh, you don't, I think that was Ericsson. But I don't know. You, oh, you do need to run to your manager, do you, really? Anyway, I mean, good goal. Good cross. I think that was Ericsson, yeah. I mean, definitely Lamptey should have stopped that. Definitely, he should have stopped that. Anyway, Brighton won, Brentford won. Okay, come on. Near the end of the game, it looks like it's going to be one all draw. I can't be doing with this one all draw business. Okay, Mark. Sanchez. Over to Mata. And that's full time. Brighton won, Brentford won. I'm almost thinking. This is, you know, if you didn't see it, I, I probably did show it to you. This is the goal that it was ruled offside uh, by Ivan Tony. It was ruled offside, and of course, our only goal of the game here by I mean, Sarmiento assist. Good. Do you get what I mean? That looks an awful lot like an own goal to me. But you never know. Anyway, I think normally I'd have that. Like, a lot more than two games that's your fault we're gonna end the episode there thank you for watching today's episode like and subscribe to the channel bye for now